7 Life Hacks for Lego from Papa Lego How to Clean Dust from Lego This is the biggest headache for all Lego lovers. When you put together a cool building or bought a new Lego set, you look for the right place to put it. But few people have a glass cabinet at home, so we choose a nightstand, shelf, or windowsill. But after a few days, dust begins to accumulate on Lego. The easiest way to avoid this is to do a wet cleaning at home every 3 to 4 days. But if the dust has already accumulated on the parts, you need to somehow get rid of it. You can borrow a facial brush from mom, but it's better not to make mom angry. Use the most ordinary hair dryer. With it, in just a couple of minutes, you can clean the entire Lego set. However, if your kit has been sitting on the shelf for years, only washing the parts or an old toothbrush will help you. How to remove a print from a Lego piece. Sometimes for crafts we need a part without a print, for example, you decided to make a statue from Lego. But a torso from a minifigure is rarely without a print. Some recommend using nail polish remover. But it spoils the part due to the content of acetone in it and melts it a little. Forget about sandpaper or a file. The safest way is to remove the print on the details with a regular stationary eraser. There is no trace of the print, while the part looks like new. Homemade LEGO minifigures. Very often it happens that the desired minifig has only inexpensive sets or we need more minifigures for homemade. And sometimes your favorite character doesn't even exist in the LEGO world. Here we need to be creative and show our creative side. We go on the internet and write in the search for decals for LEGO. Choose any you like and print it. The hardest part is getting the correct dimensions. It is better to print directly on paper that is glued by itself, but you can use ordinary glue. To detail the character, we can cut a homemade cloak from any unnecessary fabric. Even old socks will come in handy for this. The main thing is to wash them before that. These are the homemade nights we got. How to bleach yellowed parts. Although LEGO is famous for the quality of its products, there is still a problem with yellowed parts. Those who have been collecting LEGO for a long time must have noticed that over time, some details may acquire a yellowish tint, and sometimes this spoils the appearance of the homemade product, especially when we are forced to build a snow yurt out of yellow snow. To make the details white again, there is a good old way. We select a container of the required size and stir in it a solution of water and hydrogen peroxide. We have to put the parts in a container and leave them for two or three days. Instead of peroxide, we can use citric acid, but experience has shown that the first solution works better. After this procedure, the parts again look like new. How to use the part separator correctly. Some LEGO parts are very difficult to separate from each other due to their shape and tight bonding. And attempts to corrode parts with teeth can lead to unpleasant consequences. To prevent this, LEGO has developed a part divider. But even I did not know all the ways to use it before. The separator can remove parts from another plate. You can detach the parts from below. If the plate is too large, the other side of the spacer can be used. And there is a cross for extruding parts from LEGO technicians. What if there is no part separator? The separator is a very useful tool for playing LEGO, however, it is only added to medium and large sets, and we can buy it separately only in official LEGO stores. But what if you only buy small kits or parts individually, and there are no certified stores nearby? You can take your mom's credit card, but it's better to use an old and unnecessary one. She can separate the necessary LEGO parts and at the same time not damage the designer. Other parts can be used to separate the lower parts or LEGO Technic parts. What should I do if I lost the instructions for a LEGO set? There is an excellent application to help with the assembly of the designer. This application is known to few people. The Brickit app can scan your LEGO bricks for the parts you need, and offers a variety of DIY instructions that you can build from your bricks. Also, the application has instructions for all existing sets ever released by LEGO. This is very convenient, because paper instructions take up a lot of space, and to create them, you have to cut down a lot of trees and spend a lot of money. This further increases the cost of LEGO sets. And as we all know, the LEGO company strives to make its toys better, more convenient and more interesting.